。おお。This video brought to you by Morning Brew. This is an angle grinder. It can cut through metal, cable, chain, hot dogs, and even bananas. But did you know it can cut through the air? Whoa! <laughs> Here you go, Toby. There I was a few days ago, browsing the internet hopelessly, wasting my time. But then I saw these things involving angle grinders. I was looking at all these really dumb mods like this one. That's dumb, no one's gonna make that. Oh my god, this guy actually made that. That guy went to the hospital and obviously we can't show that. But I did see this one thing. It looked like an angle grinder with a nut and some... Uh, Butter knife blades welded to the nut at an angle. It looked like a propeller. And I thought to myself, propellers make thrust but I couldn't find a video of that thing specifically working, so I figured, why don't I try that? And why don't I just see if one of these things is capable of flight? There is a dilemma here when it comes to attaching this propeller to this angle grinder. This is a really big shaft. This is a very small hole, and we have to adapt this model airplane propeller to this angle grinder. So I'm going to get my lathe and turn some things down because I need a way to attach this to this so we can produce some thrust. So I made this silly little gadget. This is a model airplane propeller adapter spinner for big drones, and this is the nut plate for the angle grinder. So now we can put this on this. And now we have our very own dangerous angle grinder attachment. This thing can really mess your face up. This is an angle grinder. It's designed to turn a disc really fast and cut materials. Not spin a propeller, but luckily this thing operates around 4,000 to 8,000 RPM, and well, that's within the ballpark of a lot of model airplane propellers. All right, I'm gonna give it a quick test. <laughs> it's got a lot of thrust. I'm gonna do some quick testing and figure out which propeller is gonna be the optimal propeller because this too small propeller is going to turn really fast but not produce a lot of thrust, and too big of a propeller will produce a lot of thrust, but it might cause the drill to shut down because it might over amp it and overheat things. So I've made this crude thrust stand. Obviously, if it can pick itself up, it's producing a lot of thrust. We're gonna start with the lower propellers first because, you know, long flight time is great and the small propeller means less amp draw. Lower amp draw means less amp hours consumed from the battery, which means longer flight times. Okay, that's not that much thrust. All right, let's try a new propeller. The last propeller was an eight inch propeller. This is a 14 inch propeller. It's much bigger. <laughs> That's kind of a lot of thrust. It can almost fly. Let's try a little bit more propeller because I want to see what this thing can handle. An 18 inch propeller might be too much. <laughs> The problem with that is that was too much. Amp draw was a lot more thrust, but I have a feeling that this thing has a thermal shut off. So after trying to fly with that, it might shut off. I mean, we'll try it anyway. Why did you make this airplane like this? Because I am not an aircraft engineer or a designer, but this balance is centered right here, and this looks pretty cool. <laughs> wait a second, wait a second. Is that falling out, or is that how it's supposed to be? That's how it's supposed to be. Why is it offset like that? Because the Germans did it. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly, I took inspiration off of one weird aircraft that has an asymmetric design, and it happened to be the Blumenvoss BV-141. And with some crude drawings, and a lot of guesswork. This is what I came up with. Oh. <laughs> okay, that, that is more thrust. <laughs> it doesn't sound too bad. It just seems to hover around a set RPM. Now I should note, 
Now this is a very cheap tool off of Amazon, mainly because it is the fraction away of that tool, which is a name brand tool, which I will not be saying because they're not paying me for any of this. <laughs> All right, I think this will fly. We gotta get to the field, but first I can talk about our sponsor for this video, Morning Brew. Good morning, fake Toby. Good morning, real Toby. Every morning, I wake up and mindlessly catch up on internet drama. That's definitely not a good way to start the day, but I do need to access the internet to see just how bad my retirement stocks are losing in value every single day. Rather than relying on legacy, horrible media, there's Morning Brew. Time to read some Morning Brew and catch up on my financials and things going on in the marketing in the market. It's a free daily newsletter that takes about five minutes to read. Morning Brew gets you up to speed on the business side of things. They even have news on technology and finance. I like to trade based on current events, so Morning Brew helps me plan my financials and I like to see whether my predictions make me lose more money or even more money. Morning Brew condenses all the stuff I want to read about finance and the markets, so I can get back to mindlessly scrolling through social media drama. Huge thanks to Morning Brew for sponsoring this video. If you like, check out the link below. Signing up is free. It takes less than 15 seconds to subscribe to the newsletter. So check out the links down below and sign up today. Hey, Bitcoin's up 3.78% today. Thanks, Morning Brew. The time is... I think your cut's coming apart. <laughs> It's very windy if you can hear it through the microphone. But we are going to try to fly the world's first angle grinder airplane. It does fly. <laughs> I know. Soybeans! Oh, you're still gliding. Yeah, I know. <laughs> fly the battery's warm the motor's warm it's just like running a normal angle grinder i might try to make an angle grinder helicopter because this worked too well and i need to do something else i did say helicopter i didn't say what kind of helicopter since i've seen these things on the internet from another creator called project air he made a single bladed helicopter and i figured that would look really cool with an angle grinder on it <laughs> So I've always wanted to build one, and this is the one I've decided to build. I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. <laughs> this that fell off, was it the propeller nut? <laughs> so this is gonna be a little hard, I think it's gonna yeah, be. I think you're a little off. I need to spend more time researching these single bladed things. That's just too much mass. It was a dumb idea. So yes, it was a very dumb idea. I give up, I'm moving on. This is a, like a trim tab. It helps set the incidence of this main wing. One thing I noticed without that, when this thing is spinning faster, it was actually just flattening out, producing no lift, but it did spin a lot faster. Now it's actually forcing it into a position to produce lift, but it's not turning fast enough now to create enough lift to fly. Hey, Steve, I got a job for you. Oh. <laughs> Come over here. I'm gonna give you a long pole and you're gonna hold this thing way above your head. 
All right, so just tell me if it starts getting lighter or not. Mm. Here we go. Oh. I'm fighting it. This isn't working so well in the shop. I have a number of theories why mainly binding and the center of rotation is not where the center of gravity is. So I'm just gonna spin it and I'm just gonna have to shove it. <laughs> just try to get off the launch rod and then it can naturally spin where it wants to spin and hopefully fly. Uh, maybe we'll take it to the field because it looks too irresponsible to do too much shit around here. Well, now that the plane's done, do you think I can cut through a hot dog? Yes. Alright, let's try it. Start it up. That thing's really not very strong. It took a while to cut through this hot dog. I wonder why. It's because it's rich in iron. <laughs> oh. The first official reveal of the new Fly Products Flyobi Power Tools. Okay, well, you've seen the angle grinder airplane, but have you seen the angle grinder helicopter? Sparse all mangled up. I don't want to rebuild it because this is awful. So the victory of today's Damn unofficial right. challenge is this this loser right here because he built a normal airplane and I had to do something it's... weird. If you guys like this, we have more flying power tools. I've done a power drill before in a more standard airplane configuration that you can check somewhere over here. Angle grinders definitely can fly. They produce a lot of thrust and lend themselves to great RC aircraft if you don't care about cutting your hand off and being part of the angle grinder danger statistic, and, you know, hospital time. <laughs> Cut the grass. Let me know what other power tools you want to see fly below and maybe we'll get around to the next video next year or something like that. <laughs> Alright, I'll fit the car better. Alright, ready? Yep. Control's good. <laughs> so bad, I had, I had a peg. <laughs> 